next uh, functionality is grouping of operate operations here grouping of operations means uh, suppose you are doing from client and server is here so you are doing assume that this is server is the database here it is a database here you have the database so whenever you want to do something you want to access the data you have to put a request to the server then server will fetch the data and it will give to the re as a response to this client so client will do something client will do some operations on that data then he will send that data to the server to update so then they will update in the database then it will give the acknowledgement means it is updated successfully in the database at the server but here the problem is there is no guarantee that only one client is accessing this server in real time you have the many clients and at a time they are all are trying to fetch the data trying to update the data trying to update whether it is a delete or modify or anything they are trying to update the data in the server so at that time you need to maintain some synchronization means here this synchronization is different here you need to maintain some uh, you have to ensure that all data should be read write atomic atomic data means uh, data should not be conflicted okay so because all the clients is trying to update the data on the same thing at that time result may be inconsistent so that should not lead so in this case what we are doing is so to maintain that general uh, uh, solution is you are maintaining the logs okay suppose you need to you are accessing you need to update the a field in this database and the b field in this database somewhere in some table or anywhere you want to update a value and b value so what you have to do initially is you have to put a lock on these two these two fields so this is the first packet you are sending to the server means you have to put a lock so that no one will uh, no one will uh, uh, interrupt you while you are uh, updating this data no one will or no one will access this data while you are updating so that it will not lead to the inconsistent data so second packet is it will send the a and b values actual updation okay updated values it is sending to the server so now it will a server will update these values so finally you locked this one after your work is over you have to be unlocked so that other uh, other clients who are want to access that data will able to access a and b so that you have to unlock those so you are unlocking a you are unlocking b so this is the third packet you are sending so if it is done properly no problem but uh, what is the problem here is after uh, sending the first packet you got the lock on a and b then after sending this a and b a and b is updated there now assume that you lost the connection after sending first and second packets connection is lost so at this situation lock is remain on this data field c and b so after certain amount of time database technology will identify this situation then it will unlock but it will take some time so in real time this is even a seconds are milliseconds is not tolerable so that's a big amount of time in case of system so that's why it should not lead this kind of situation 
so for that you what we are doing is you are going for grouping of operation means you are sending 1 2 3 together means all these three operations you are grouping that grouping will be done by session layer then it will send these three together will send to the database first it will lock the data fields a and b then it will update the that particular data then it will unlock then server will give acknowledgement to the client if it is successfully updated in the database so this is actual scenario suppose so suppose if third packet is not received session layer will obtain the above packet so that it will not lead to any problem even if it is not third packet if it is not received in the session layer so if it is not there so that it is not going to do any operation on that so that's why you need to go for grouping of operation so this will be done by session layer all together these are the these four are the main responsibilities or functionalities of session layer dialog control token management synchronization and grouping of operation then next we will see the presentation layer thank you